How's it going everyone? Time for another amazing tutorial in 3ds Max. Today we're going to be um, making a shooting range if you will. Uh, we'll have a wall and we'll, we'll fire some bullets into it. Uh, it's really easy and quick, simple to do. Um, so let's jump straight into it. First thing we need is a box. Drag it out. Make it as high as you want. And yeah, so we'll just make it a bit higher. Press F4 so we can see the um, edges. Uh, we need our gun, which will be a cylinder. Drag it out, rotate it 90 degrees so it's facing the wall. Move it up so it's in line with the wall. Um, but for this, I'll just make a quick uh, animation so you can see it and you'll be able to understand once I show you. Um, so press N for keyframe. Drag your time timeline across, move the gun over, it'll automatically create a keyframe for you. Press N so there's a scene done. Press F just to check it, it meets the wall. Yep, we're all good. Go into a 3D view. Okay, now we need to add our ray fire. So go to ray fire. Usually, I've usually used ray fire um in my other tutorials, but for this you'll be shooting, open shooting floater. Uh, this will come up, so we just need to pop that down. Our impact object is going to be the wall, and our gun will be this cylinder. Uh, yep. So once that's done, if you come down to here, there's really cool features in here. I haven't used many of them yet. Um, maybe in a later tutorial I'll have a look, but. I only used this last night, so I don't know that much yet. Yeah, I know the basics. Um, so now you want to press shoot. And the problem that I've noticed is that um, the gun shoots the wrong way. So obviously here nothing's happened to the wall because the bullets are going this way. Um, so to do to sort this problem, we can press delete. So we reset the scene, rotate this 180 degrees, and press shoot again. And there you go. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, it does create quite a few polygons, so it will slow your computer down. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, for this it's pretty cool. Um, so once we've done that, we'll have a look at these quick settings here. If we just go back to delete, so we'll restart the scene. Um, we see I have debris. Um, so if we do the same again, shoot. It might take a bit longer to process, but you see we have this debris here. So if we go back, you see the debris coming out of each one, out of each hole. So if I select them all, press M, assign the same material. Looks like nothing's there, but as you start firing, you see the debris coming out. Now the debris isn't correct, is it? Obviously it's it's little spheres coming out, which isn't right at all. To correct that. What we can do is we'll just minimize that for now. Um, go to standard, make a box, press F4, um, and you want to go to ray fire again. This time, just to the normal ray fire. Open the floater to demo for me. I don't know what you have, I assume it's the same. Um, add impact objects, fragments, just make 10, this doesn't need to be many. And frag, go oh, to the top, fragment, there you go. Okay, we're done with that now. Um, so now what we need to do is just select one, go back to our, um, if I can, it's off the screen, there you go. Um, go back to this, go to deformation I think, maybe it's particles, yeah particles, so the particles, debris, and um, press add while this is selected and you'll notice that it's been put in here. Now the size is usually quite an issue and um, if we just delete it and then reshoot it, so go back to objects, uh, deformation, MJ shoot so the same happens again 
that you see we have huge geometry um, so it's a simple fix just go deformation delete it um, particle sorry I keep getting mixed up and um, you'll see that we have size so just change it to like I don't know 0.5 I guess give that a shot Still way too big. Particles. Delete. And then we'll try it again. It's a lot of trial and error with this. Is it's quite fiddly and takes some time, but yeah, with a little bit of practice, you should be fine after a few attempts. There you go, you get that. You, you can see what I'm trying to do. I won't waste your time too long, but as we move the timeline across, you see that it's firing. Now, some other cool features if we delete that, so we re refresh it again. We have, um, I've used the sparks, um, but if we go to impact flash and bullets, now shoot it, you see we have these lines where the bullets are. And that only shows up when you have F4 pressed. So now that that's done, if we just take it back to the start, I'll turn F4 off so you can see. I'll move the timeline across. You can see the bullet flying through the air as it hits it, lights, lights up the wall. Let's see what it does if we play it. Might be a bit laggy, but you get the idea. You can see it affecting the wall and having the light. Nice cool feature. And my app news anything else in here. Just a quick update of what I know. Um, hope you find it enjoyable. If you have any problems, just drop me an email. Check out my website. Good luck with your rendering, and I'll see you soon.